New insights emerge into a major gold heist earlier this year at Toronto's Pearson International Airport. Good afternoon. We're learning more about this spring's multi-million dollar gold heist from the Air Canada facilities at Pearson. The revelations come into light from a security company lawsuit filed in Toronto's federal court. And that's where we find CTV's John Woodward. John, what are you learning? Nathan, we're learning details about how and when this law, or this uh, heist happened, thanks to the lawsuit filed here at federal court, including details that have a Toronto police detective, a former Toronto police detective, suggesting this could be an inside job. It sounds like the plot of a heist movie, but a lawsuit from security company Brinks alleges it was very real, saying Air Canada gave up its cargo of $1.9 million in U.S. banknotes and 400 kilograms of gold and needs to pay it back. The lawsuit alleges the plane arrived in Pearson Airport at 3.56 p.m. on April 14th, offloaded the cargo at 4.20 and entered Air Canada's warehouse at 5.50. Then, just 42 minutes later, at approximately 1832, an unidentified individual gained access to Air Canada's cargo storage facilities. No security protocols or features were in place to monitor, restrict, or otherwise regulate the unidentified individual's access to the facilities. Then, it alleged that person presented a fake way bill. Air Canada accepted the fraudulent way bill from the unidentified individual without verifying its authenticity in any way. Had Air Canada made the necessary and appropriate inquiries in the circumstances, the unidentified individual's ability to steal the cargo entrusted to its care would have been entirely avoided. During the course of this transaction, that individual was able to uh, fool everybody and uh, basically walk out the door with the gold and the banknotes. Former Toronto Police Detective Mark Mendelson said the timing suggests that the thief or thieves knew more than they should. Whoever perpetrated this, no matter how many people are involved, uh, had inside information. Peel Regional Police continue to investigate this brazen heist. We did reach out to Air Canada. The company tells us they're not commenting on this while it is before the courts. On the bright side, the lawsuit does detail uh, information that likely comes from security cameras and other paper trails and digital trails uh, as it followed the, uh, the gold through this process. Those are likely going to be important leads that Peel police officers are already following. Reporting live from federal court, I'm John Woodward. Michelle, back to you.